This list has been partially sorted using insertion sort. We are trying to elicit the worst case for the next iteration of the insert function in insertion sort. If you remember, the insert function will take the first item from the unsorted part of the list and try to put it somewhere in the sorted part of the list by comparing it consecutively to the elements that are already there. The farther left insert has to go, the more comparisons it makes and the more assignment statements it executes. So to elicit the worst case, we need to go all the way to the left. We can achieve this with any number that's strictly less than three. Uh, let's pick one for instance. Now, this is a worst case for insertion sort for this particular iteration of insert. Here's the code for insert with the doc string and comments omitted. Let's look at the while loop condition. There are two parts. i has to be greater than 0, and l at i minus 1 has to be greater than value, has to be greater than the item that we are trying to insert. Our first question, how many times does this while loop iterate for the example above, while trying to slot one into the sorted part of the list? Because of how we've chosen one, the second half of the while loop condition, l at i minus one is greater than value, will always be true. This will be true all the way to the very beginning of the list. And at the moment, one is at index four in the list, which means that we will execute once when comparing to 6, once for the other 6, once for 4, and once for 3, going backwards. I will decrease by 1 every time. The last time, when i becomes 0, i greater than 0, the first part of the while condition will fail, and the loop will not execute. So in total, we are going to run this loop 4 times. The next question is how many assignment statements we are going to execute in total. There are two assignments, one right at the beginning of the function and one right at the end. Those two happen no matter what, even if the while loop never ever runs. Then inside the while loop, we have two assignment statements that happen every time the loop goes around. So in this case, we have two statements every time the loop goes through, which is four times. So two times four is eight, one before and one after the loop. So a total of 10 assignment statements. Now let's consider the general case. Given this, for any value of i, how many times is the loop going to iterate? The answer is, in the worst case, when the second half of the while condition is always true, we depend on the first part. And the first part says, this will run as long as i is strictly greater than zero. So it's going to run once for every time we are able to decrease i. Therefore, it's going to run i times. So in the general case, the number of assignments that we make is two assignments every time the loop runs, which is two times i assignments, one at the beginning and one at the end for a total of two i plus two assignments. This makes insert a linear running time function in the worst case for i. Now, when we consider the function insert with the function insertion sort, the first time we call insert, i is 0. The second time we do it, it's 1, and so on. What is the largest value that i is going to be? Well, i is determined by the range of len of l, the length of the list l, which includes all numbers from 0 to the length of the list minus 1, or all possible indices in the list l. So the last value of i in insertion sort is going to be length of the list minus 1. Now, we'd like to know how many comparisons we're going to make in the worst case for insertion sort. Now, remember, worst case means that the second half of the while loop condition in the insert function is always going to be true. So here are the number of comparisons we make based on what i is. At the very beginning, when i is 0, we are going to get into the while loop, check against the first half of the condition, which is i is greater than 0. That part will fail. We've made one comparison, then the loop will exit. When i is 1, we're going to run through the while loop and make two comparisons, the first half and the second half. 
for one, we're going to decrease i by one, and we're going to do it all over again for zero, making a total of three comparisons. When i is two, we're going to go through the loop twice fully, and then one more time to make sure that i is not greater than zero before we exit, which is a total of two times two plus one, which is five. In general, for any value of i, every time we iterate over the loop, we're making two times i plus one comparisons. Now let's find out how many comparisons we make in total for the entire run of insertion sort in the worst case. We've already established that i is going to range from zero to length of the list minus one. Let's call the length of the list n to simplify our formula. The total number of comparisons for insertion sort looks like this. When i is zero, the comparisons, there's only one comparison. When i is one, there's three, etc, 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 all the way down to two times n minus one, so two times the length of the list minus one, plus one. This is the last iteration of insert. This is an arithmetic series. Because addition is commutative, I'm actually going to group these slightly differently. I'm going to add the first and the last item in the series together first. Then I'm going to add the second and the second last item, the third and the third last item, uh, and so on. I do this because I know that in an arithmetic series, what's going to happen is that all these sums, each of these rows is going to end up adding to the same number. Let's look at the first one. 2 times n minus 1 is 2n minus 2. I add 1, that's 2n minus 1. I add one more, that's 2n. The second line, 2 times n minus 2 is 2n minus 4 plus 1 is 2n minus 3. I add 3 and I get 2n again. Same with the third line and so on and so on and so on. In total, because i ranges from 0 to n minus 1, I have n items in my series, which means that this is going to happen exactly n over 2 times. And when we simplify that, n times 2n over 2, we get n squared comparisons. n squared comparisons means that insertion sort, in the worst case, is a quadratic runtime function. This may seem counterintuitive because different numbers of comparisons happen at each stage, but the math is there. And if n doubles, the number of comparisons we do is going to quadruple. If n triples, the number of comparisons we do is going to be multiplied by 9. This is a quadratic running time function.